Super 7 Abs Shredder Volume 2. Seven exercises, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Now you can choose to do one ab a day if you want to do this down the road, or I want to challenge you to do all seven abs back to back, which is just under four minutes of actual work. So we're going to begin. We're going to lay on our back and we're going to do an alternating leg lower kick up. So your legs are up, you're going to drop one leg down and you're going to lift those hips up. Heels down, drive the legs up. And I love this exercise because it works into those hip flexors which stretch the bottom part of your abs. And when you lift up, you're forced to work a different part of your pelvis that most of us probably don't use at any time. I can't see myself doing this <laughs> throughout the day. So the abs do get involved because what's lifting up your butt cheeks off the ground? Your abs, okay? So that's your alternating leg lower kickups. Now we're gonna go to the basics. So shoulders down, hands here, and you're trying to crunch up. So bring your chest up towards the ceiling. You want to engage those abs. Don't just, you know, rep off a bunch of reps. I just want you to go on up and squeeze. So when you're doing it, you're just lifting and pressing. You'll press your belly button into the floor and lifting your chest up towards the ceiling. And that's going to properly engage the entire abs in this crunch. So drive up, breathe out. Every time you crunch up, your goal in about 30 seconds is between 20 and 30. If you're doing more than that, you're probably not doing them right. Okay, we're gonna do a side crunch. We're gonna lay on our left side here. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna focus on the right side. So I like to get a bit of a stretch. So shoulders down and again, we're crunching up. A lot of people kind of just do this, but you're not really working the abs properly because they're not properly stretched. So what we're doing is we're stretching out the abs so that you feel that pull and then you're feeling that stretch and you're trying to shorten that stretch. And that's basically how a workout works. Is that imagine my arm is stretching all the way out and it's coming all the way in. The same thing happens with that core. If you want to effectively work those abs, then you have to stretch those abs and then you have to fully shorten them. Okay, we're gonna to get to the other side. Boom, all right. So now we're gonna get onto that right side. You do the old pivot on the butt cheeks. Okay, right hand down, knees bent, feel that stretch. And then we're gonna crunch up towards the ceiling. So your eyes should be up the ceiling. Again, doing this, you're not gonna feel that, okay? You wanna stretch out the abs, drop the elbow back, and you're just driving your chest up towards the fe ceiling, feeling that stretch into your core. Stretch into your core, driving up, good. And we're halfway there, guys. Keeping those knees nice and bent, feeling that pinch as you drive in into the side fat, squeezing, 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 good. All right, next one, we're gonna go on our stomach. And you guys have done a Superman with me, but we're gonna do a Superman twist, okay? So the feet are gonna go down, hands are down, and you're gonna go up and twist, okay? Now I've got a soft surface here. Just power through it right now. But the next time you do these exercises, you can put a towel or even a pillow between your belly button and your pelvis, and you'll actually get a little bit more range of motion in through your back, but otherwise up and squeeze. And we're focusing on the extension, but we're also working on the muscles that cross into that low back. Good. All right, this one's a little tougher. We're gonna go into a plank position. Okay, if you need to be on your knees, be on your knees. Okay, and you're just gonna slide one arm out, slide one leg up. But otherwise, let's challenge you to get up into that plank position, stabilize your core. Now the feet of your, the wider your feet are the better. And so what you want to do is slide one hand at a time. Now you don't have to rush through this. The key here is that you're feeling that extension, okay? You're feeling that complete stretch between your hands and your feet. Suck that belly button into the ground. Keep it in nice and tight. And we're almost there. That's it. Keep that butt down. Slide it up. Good. All right, let's get you guys onto your back. And we're going to do what's called a suitcase crunch. So the modification version is you just lay on your back, keep your low back flat, but otherwise try to get up and drive one knee in towards the chest. One knee in towards the chest. So coming up and across. There you go, guys. Working the abs. Knees up. Drive it up. Coming cross body. Good job. There you go. 10 seconds. Drive, drive, drive. Ah. And that's your 
Seven Abs Shredder Volume 2.